Major donors to the United Nations Palestinian Refugee Agency have suspended funding to the organization, following allegations that around a dozen of its employees were involved in the October 7th Hamas attacks in Israel. The reports that we got last week, and uh, UNRWA brought them to us, um, were deeply, deeply troubling. We haven't had the ability to investigate them ourselves, but they are highly, highly credible. UNRWA stands for United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees in the Near East. It was established in 1949 after the war surrounding the founding of Israel, when 700,000 Palestinians fled or were driven from their homes. Today, it directly employs 30,000 Palestinians, serving 5.9 million people in the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, and camps in neighboring Arab countries. Its 13,000 employees in Gaza run schools, health care clinics, and distribute humanitarian aid. Its services have grown more important since 2005, when Israel and Egypt imposed a blockade. Nearly the entire Gazan population relies on UNRWA for necessities like food, water, and hygiene supplies. Contributions from UN member states, including regional governments and the European Union, account for more than 89% of the agency's funding. In 2022, the U.S. was its top donor. It also receives funding from the regular UN budget and gets financial contributions from other UN bodies. The U.S., Britain, and several EU members have suspended their funding in the wake of the allegations. A six-page Israeli dossier shared with the United States and reviewed by Reuters says 10 staff members directly participated in the raid into Israeli territory, and two others were summoned to assist the raid. The dossier says Israel also has wider evidence that UNRWA has employed 190 Hamas and Islamic Jihad militants. UNRWA says it acted swiftly to fire staff after being alerted of Israeli evidence that they participated in the October 7th attacks. These shocking allegations come as more than 2 million people in Gaza depend on life-saving assistance that the agency has been providing since the war began. Anyone who betrays the fundamental values of the UN also portrays those whom we serve in Gaza. It believes the funding cuts could jeopardize its entire mission and dramatically worsen an already catastrophic humanitarian emergency in Gaza. The organization has been under financial strain for years and in January 2023 appealed for $1.6 billion in funding. The shelters, the, the health centers and everything else is provided in Gaza through UNRWA. We appeal to donors not to suspend their funding to UNRWA at this critical moment. Cutting off funding will only hurt the people of Gaza, who desperately need support. Israeli authorities have long called for the agency to be dismantled, arguing that its mission is obsolete and it fosters anti-Israeli sentiment. UNRWA strongly disputes this characterization.